Really, safety and security in the education setting is priority number one. As safety and security manager at the Lancaster Lebanon Intermediate Unit, John Baker works to make sure students in Susquehanna Valley schools are safe. It was never picked up. He helped create this training video. It meets the requirements for Act 126, which amended the public school code to mandate all school employees take three hours of training. A portion covers appropriate adult-student relationships. It defines sexual misconduct as anything directed toward a student that is either romantic or sexual in nature. Teachers must also adhere to a code of professional conduct. School districts are no longer allowed to investigate claims against educators. It's now up to the Pennsylvania Professional Standards and Practices Commission. Commission members aren't permitted to give interviews, but according to its website, between 60 and 70 percent of its cases involve sexual misconduct. The reality is kids are going to respect and often comply with the wishes of an adult. We will detail how you can avoid the appearance of impropriety with students. Baker and believes it's important to offer adults. perspective. Regarding child abuse. He says overall, 1% of all child abuse is educator related. The training seems to be making a difference. I think what has changed is our awareness and our ability to communicate it. According to Pennsylvania's child abuse report, since 2005, there have been more child abuse claims reported, but fewer are being substantiated. I don't know if you can ever say that, that we can do enough, but I got to tell you, I think it's, I think it's a, a great initiative. Emily, are you okay? It was needed. I don't want to go home. It came at the right time. Honey, what's wrong? And Shannon, WGAL News 8.